Hey class, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, staying indoors and, and staying healthy. I wanted to take a minute here to um, record this video because I have some students that are having issues with, with uploading images uh, of their notes. And so there's slides on here. So um, if I go to the right here, the first three, three slides are all informational. So I'm trying to make it easy for you to know what you're supposed to do. Uh, when you have the notepad icon like you do here, there's a notepad icon. I'm expecting you to take notes on those slides. So just basically write them on your notes. And then when you have a camera icon, which is also going to be, it's usually the same slide that has a notepad, we'll have a camera. I want you to take a picture of your notes and upload the, that picture so that I can, it's a way of me checking uh, that you actually took the notes. And, and that's the issue that some of you are having. And then finally, there's a paintbrush um, icon with with the paint palette. On this, you're supposed to draw on the slide using the tools that that are are accessible to you. And so, I just want to go through that really quick. Uh, this is the first slide where you're supposed to take notes and uh, take a picture of your notes. And so, you have both the notepad and uh, the camera icon. And so, I'm expecting you to take notes on this um, on everything. Now, right here, I, you can be strategic. You wouldn't probably need the second circle with the first circle is enough. But if you've taken notes and drawn both circles, that's fine. This all has to do with uh, understanding uh, what a chord is. A chord is just a line that goes from one end of the circle, so like from point B to the all the way to another end um, that is also on the circle, point A. And so that's a chord. It's a line that goes across the circle. And that's all I'm supposed to, that's all I want you to take out of this. But some of you are having issues. Now, in the past, at least on the iPads, you see these icons down here. There's the pencil, the highlighter, the text box. Uh, this is to upload an image, and this is an eraser. On the iPad in class, and we never actually used this uh, this year, but on the iPad, there's also a little camera icon. And if you click on the camera icon, it should let you snap a picture. Now, I just realized that that's fine on the iPad, but I tried it here on my laptop and I also tried it on my phone. And I don't see the camera icon on my phone or on my laptop. And so what I'm gonna suggest that you do if you don't have the camera icon is I'm gonna ask you to take a picture of your notes. So write these notes down. And if you're using your phone, just take a quick picture and I, I I hope, uh, I don't know for sure because I can't verify, but I hope that every one of you, regardless of what device you're using, has the, the upload image icon. So for those of you who do not have the camera icon, click on the upload image. After, uh, well, I guess first take a picture of your notes and it's gonna be in your gallery and then click on the upload image and then browse for the file, browse for uh, that image. Let me see if I have anything. I'll just put it whatever up here as an example. And so you click, look for the image, upload it. Now here's what I do want you to do. The image is going to be on top of this slide and that's fine. It's not a big deal. But I, what I want to do is I want you to do is I want you to enlarge the image so that it takes up the entire space. Because if you don't, if you submit the image like this, it's going to be ver very small and it's going to be hard for me to see. So I want you to, with your fingers, if you're using your phone, just drag the corners of the image so that it takes up the whole screen. Uh, something like that. There we go. So something like that. Take up, have it take up the whole screen, and then uh, you do have to submit. So don't um, don't continue unless you submit here. So click submit. And that should take you to the next slide. Here, for example, on this slide, I don't want you to take any notes. I don't want you to take any pictures. What I do want you to do is I want, because you have the paintbrush, the paintbrush, I want you to do what you're being asked. Highlight all the chords you see. And there's already one that's highlighted for you. And you have to do this on both circles. So the A, B is a chord. Let me try to do my best here with this. Actually, this is also a touch screen. So uh, let me use the highlighter. Actually, I'll use the pencil because it's darker and I'll just make it. So 
Uh, let me see. I can. I think I can use my finger here. There we go. That's another chord right there. And then uh, A B is another chord, and B D is another chord. And so those are all chords, and that's all you're supposed to do here. And then you click once again. You have to submit this. Uh, what I would not want to see in this particular slide is I would not want to see you highlight C A. C A is not a chord because it doesn't go from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle. So I would not want you to do that. You highlight the chords, you click submit, and you continue the process. So if there's any further questions, please post them. Post them on, on the Google Classroom. If I don't answer your question, it's usually because I have more than one question. Um, more of the same question, so I rather just make a quick video, and 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 make that available to you, so that I it cover it addresses the question for the entire class rather than just than just one individual.